Uh, last weekend was, you know, a game that didn't really see a lot of it go our way with two goalkeepers getting stretched off. What's your thoughts ahead of this weekend's game against Bournemouth? Um, use everything that's going against us at the moment just to fuel our fire, come out fighting. Uh, we know where we are. Um, you know, it's, it's been a, a difficult period for us. We're a young group. Everyone is learning all the time. Um, like I said, we're, I've, I've had to forgive a few mistakes because that happens, the pressure, the tension of the situation. Um, and then obviously, you know, things out of our control last week with, with two goalkeepers, unfortunately, getting stretched off. The, you know, the, life has a, a way of kicking you while you're down. But what you don't do is you don't stay down. You don't keep your head down. You keep believing, you keep fighting, you keep getting back up until it works, until, until you come again. That's why I'm probably in the job. That's why I'm probably still in football. Um, it's probably because I've always come through situations and adversity and uh, that's certainly the case. I, you know, me and my staff will work every second um, to get this right. We really believe in the group and the players and I know that when we come through this we're going to be stronger and better days will be ahead. But at the moment we need to fight and scrap for them better days and uh, that's certainly what we'll be doing tomorrow. And uh, yeah, people are starting to give up on us, but we're not giving up on ourselves, that is for sure. And um, we've got to prove a lot of people wrong. How important is that mentality? And also, what's the prefer preparation been like this week? Preparation's been, been great, as it, as it always is. You know, we always reflect and analyse and find the best way to, to train in a range of ways, you know, not just tactically and technically. You know, you know you've got to work on the players on that on every day, but we always work on psychologically as well, and, uh, and that's what we've certainly been doing, and we're trying to support the players and give them everything they need to, for us all to, you know, get through this, this bad spell that we're in. But the only way out of it is forwards. The only way out of it is together. The only way out of it is to, to back each other, push each other, drive each other. Um, even when other people aren't cheering for us, we've got to cheer ourselves at the moment. And it's the same. We've just got to keep searching for that moment to change the momentum and uh, to give us our, our confidence back. That can change in a heartbeat in football, you know. Just as easily had a moment for them, which kick-started them, you know, our, our goalkeeper being stretched off, you know, had the ball in his hands as he come down. It's come out of his hands. He's laid out on the floor. They've kicked it into an empty net. You know, that could have easily just been us at the other end. It wasn't. We're not feeling sorry for ourselves, but we will fight for that moment to turn our season and it will happen. I suppose the thing is as well, we've obviously had that moment earlier in the season as well with the Grimsby game, you know, a lot of responsibility on our shoulders to look for a response. We did get that and got on a run, so there's no reason why we can't do it again. Yeah, sometimes when you're, you're at your weakest is where you actually become your strongest. And uh, we're certainly looking for that moment um, tomorrow. Um, you know, we... Each week, we know we're probably one of the, the youngest, you know, we'll always be probably the youngest team, but we've got to flip down its head. The youngest team can have energy, can have less fear. Um, so we're always going to look for the, for the positives and we're always going to continue to uh, find a way. And that, that, that's all we're going to be doing. That's all we're focused on. The, ne the next step is always the biggest. And, uh, you know, when we come out of this, I'm excited when we come out of this. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to trying to make that happen tomorrow. I suppose that's that old shot mentality that we want to instill is it's, you know, us against the world, we against every team that looks to come to the EBB Stadium. Yeah, it certainly is. It is us against the world because all the shot we know in, in, in football terms is a big football club. The way this league's kicked on at the moment, we are where we are because of probably some of the clubs have kicked on to a different stratosphere at the moment. So, you know, we're, we're fighting against the odds all the time. And um, I'd rather fight with everyone with me. Um, I know at times... Some people will lose faith, but it's important that that change room never loses faith, which I don't think it has. I believe in those boys, and like I said, I believe in these experiences are going to make them stronger. I believe that the work will see us through, um, but it's times like this, everyone is getting tested. Uh, a lot of questions getting fired at, at myself and everyone around me. Um, it's important we stay strong, steady uh, and calm, but um, like I said, it, we, we've, we've got to execute, and uh, we, we will. We've just got to hold our nerve and keep fighting for each other. I'll ask you about the injuries. Obviously, of course, we had Ethan and Mitch go off, but there's a few other players that maybe are back in contention, aren't quite in contention yet. What's the latest on them? Yeah, it's, um, you know, there's obviously some late calls going tomorrow. It's, you know, it's no, there's no hiding from it. Um, there's um, a, busy, a busy physio room at the moment. Um, but we, as you alluded earlier, we, we've been here before at Grimsby where no one gave us a hope and we had, you know, eight, nine first-teamers out um, and we rallied and we're... We, we usually respond to adversity and uh, we, we need to straight away. Looking at Bournemouth, of course, they are on a bit of a difficult run of form at the minute, but you know that's no 
you know, no reason to not win the game or win the game. It's just an opportunity to get us back on the winning way as well. Yeah, I think uh, Bourne would have rightly flying high. Um, yeah, they probably had a couple of results, not as they would wished lately. But knowing Luke and his team, that will only galvanise them and drive them even more. They're, they're a big, physical, strong side and uh, you know one of, one of the best sides in the league. Um, you've seen that throughout the season. You've seen that in their cup run. Um, yeah, we're going to have to, you know, we'll be respectful by the way that we've worked and the way we've prepared, as, as we always do. Um, but, yeah, we've got to focus on ourselves now. We, we, we can't live in fear. We've got to come out with a front foot performance. Um, but we've also got to nullify them the best we can. But we've got to get that balance right. Just a final question, of course, obviously being back at home, how important is it to offer that attacking threat at home and look to, you know, get us on back on that goal scoring run? Yeah, we, we need to, you know, you need to, you need to show every element of our game at the moment. We can't just go, yeah, we'll go gun hole and just try and attack the life out of the game and leave ourselves open. And we're, we've seen this season where we've been out of a game before we're in a game. We need to strike that balance right. And uh, you need moments in the game um, to reignite that confidence and that, that front foot energy. But, um, you know, only, only ourselves can manufacture that. So we need to execute better. We know that. Um, but we have to get that balance right. You know, we, we're, we're trying to attack games. Um, you've seen the performances. You know, Kings Lynn, we should have been 2 or 3 nil up straight away. We've hit the bar twice. We've had throw-ins, corners. Same with Eastleigh. We started the game bright. Um, we, we were the bright team. We had more attacking opportunities. We had more corners. We had more shots on goal than Eastleigh did. Then a long, hopeful free kick into our box from just inside our own half has ended up in disaster for us. Um, you know, that, that, that's the nature of the game. Um, so, look, we've got to just keep showing as much attacking intent as we can, but make sure we're balanced and locked out and, and hard to beat and resilient because you have to show them characteristics where we are and we, and, and we have to improve on our, on our attacking play as well. The challenge is there for us. It's time to step up and uh, answer our critics. Are you in the shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.